It's allotment time again. Today I'm up at the plot and I'm going to be planting the broccoli. There they are. You saw me sow them, pop them on. They need to go in. They should have gone in ages ago. Um, just a quick update on the squash. There they are. Doing quite well. Um, so yeah. Today is just about planting these. Right, let's get to it. Okay, let me bring you up to my brassica bed. You can hear me over the wind. The cabbages living happily side by side next to the weeds. Under that cloche I've got um, iceberg lettuces. And under that smaller one I've got sprouts living quite happily next to um, green cast lettuces. But along here, that's where my uh, my broccoli are going to be. I spaced them out in roughly, I'd say, I don't know, 12, certainly, eight, certainly 12 inches apart, maybe 18 inches apart. And I'm going to plant those five now and then use one of these cloches to cover them up with, which is down here. Hold on, let me take you down here. Use the shadow. There you go, turn on cloche, kit fleece. I was going to try and use this cloche that I've been building, but as you can see, it's only half done because I ran out of this netting. So, got to get me some more netting. But when that's done, that should cover the broccoli and I'll basically pull that fleece up and use it for something else. So yeah, those five are going to get planted right now. Let's do that. Okay, let's plant the first broccoli. Now I don't know much about these. I've never grown them before, but I've been watching videos on YouTube and they all say very unfairly deep, up to the first set of leaves, and apparently broccoli like to be firmed in really well. So hopefully, uh, that'll do. That's the first one planted. We've got four more to go. That was fairly pain free. All five are now in their final resting place, so to speak. Now I'm going to build one of those cloches to cover them. Okay, I hope you can get that on the camera because I'm not looking at the viewfinder at the moment, so I can't really see. So there you go, my tunnel cloche kit fleet. I've already got two up. One's a bit of a homemade jobby, and the other one is actually this cloche. Now I know broccoli grow to quite a height, so this is only going to be a temporary measure until I've uh, finished making the other cloche which I showed you earlier, but I ran out of netting. Um, so anyhow, 
This is what I'm now going to put up, just as a temporary measure for my broccoli. Now then, YouTubers, let's have a little chat. Apologies for not um, posting a video for the last couple of weeks. It was just I was getting to the stage where nothing was really happening on the plot, so I didn't think anything was worth filming. So that's why I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Um, I just figured I'd let everything grow and make a video today and bring you up to date with everything that's happening on the plot. So that first section of video that you've just watched uh, with me planting out the broccoli. That was done about two weeks ago um, when I came up here and I thought well I'll film that but then didn't have anything else to film really so I just held on to that bit of footage and I'm going to combine it with the stuff that you're going to see now. So that's why I haven't been around um, but thank you for your patience if you're watching. Um, let's go to the plot, let's have a look what is growing now quite exciting he says rather sarcastically okay first of all I've given the number one shed a lick of paint that's called seagrass so I just brighten it up and then if I pan down here oh dear I took the lean-to down because I needed to replace the felting on the roof which was coming off as if you've been following my videos you would have seen earlier on in one of the previous videos that there were two big holes in the roof but I spent a couple of days fixing the roof I don't know two weeks ago I'd say anyway so there you go that will be a project for later on in the year it will go back up because I quite like the idea of a lean-to but that's the shed in its current I don't know what would you say state right anyway let's pan over here spuds Spuds earthed up. Spuds at the far end coming through. So, a bit of spud action going on, ladies. It's not a euphemism. Really are my spuds. And then on to this bed here, which I continually dig and put nothing in. There's one row of rogue spuds that I put there. Ah, and that's what you saw a couple of minutes ago on the video when I built the cloche and planted the uh, the broccoli. And this is about, I would say, two weeks on from that video. Looks like they've uh, taken quite well under the cloche. As I said earlier, it's just a temporary measure until I finish building that cloche. Moving further on down, in some of the earlier videos I was uh, planting those green cos lettuce in the shed. Um, you remember I kept mentioning 1,250 seeds and only 30 have come out and only 10 have survived. Well there they are, they're under this cloche here with a few Brussels sprouts which will come up hopefully after the lettuce have gone. Hopefully they're slower growing. So yeah, those are the lettuce. They're being nibbled at. Let me just give you a close-up. So I'd, again, I'd like to put it out there. What do you reckon that is? Do you reckon that is Mr. Mouse again, knowing my luck? Or slugs? Um, because I did put two traps down to catch Mr. Mouse. And cunningly, he must have an IQ of 145 because I put the bait down, put uh, the traps down, came up a week later, bait had gone, traps weren't even sprung, Mr. Mouse had had his little uh, feast, thanked me, and buggered off. 
those there are um, iceberg lettuces which I planted up God, quite a while ago now and they're coming on quite quite nicely I've got to weed that area obviously I've just left them under the cloche just to kind of bulk up but they're looking okay and then I think I've mentioned before I did cheat on these these cabbages were um, bought from a garden centre and they're living happily um, like I said earlier side by side next to the weeds I've got to take this netting off and weed that area pretty soon strawberry update um, when I watch you guys doing your strawberries covering them with the uh, well not covering them but having that kind of black uh, weed suppressant uh, plastic down I and mean, I just bung mine in the ground. I think, God, I should take a leaf out of you. your book and follow your methods, but uh, money constraints and time just means they're going to be in the ground this year, maybe next year. Rhubarb is doing okay. I thought it would kind of... I don't know, I thought it would come on a bit more than this, but it, it, it seems to have kind of plateaued out. And... Is that normal? Can anybody tell me whether that rhubarb leaf, um, what's eating that? Do I need to do anything? Earlier on in the year you saw me plant the raspberry canes, Autumn Bliss. Three have come up and they seem to be doing okay there. So I'm chuffed about those. These two canes here and they're I think are goners, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to get any anything from them. I mean, moving on to these makeshift little covers I've uh, constructed for a um, veg here. Those are the radish, the long icicle white radish plants. They've been uh, chomped on by the slugs. But I've got a couple coming up, so I'm happy with that. Under those two there are my beetroot. They've been, yeah, they've been hammered by the slugs as well. I've got to do another sowing of those, but I've got some coming up, so I'm okay. I'm okay for some beetroot. Under here, no sign of them yet. Swiss chard, never grown that before, so don't know what to expect. Obviously, I know what it looks like, but... Um, I don't know how long they take. If you guys have got uh, any ideas on that, please let me know. And then finally, moving on to this area. Shallot's doing okay. The whole place needs a weeding, but essentially, they're looking good. They're starting to split. Here's my onions, which again, I need to weed, but they're looking okay. Finally, my garlic. Looking a bit sorry for itself. All help and suggestions are welcome. Don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Did okay last year. But there you have it. That there is the update of the plot so far. Well, as always, thanks for putting up with me and my plot updates. I'll see you next time.